What's going on, everyone? We're going to discuss this trailer a little further. I did a recording of it, but honestly, I thought it would be more fun to, uh, uh, to look at it with everyone. Uh, I'm gonna go through it a couple times, say anything, or say anything, uh, say my pieces of what I think is happening, or, like, what some of these characters are, uh, so yeah. I will say, real quick, uh, hopefully this goes away. I'm gonna be pausing it a lot, actually. Sand Ocean immediately makes me think of Jen Moran and Darren Moran, Monoblos and Diablos. The Monoblos and Diablos aren't in the Sand Ocean like that, but there's a chance they could be. Um, I'm very excited if the Monoblos finally comes back. All right. We got a no name over here. I don't know what's going on over here, but this is another cat, so that's cool. Uh, this is the character that represents you. Obviously, it changes depending on what you pick. Oh, that's weird. I never noticed the the kid poking their head out like that. I don't. I don't like that. So we know this person's name is Alma. Now, and this person is I want to say Gemma, if I remember correctly. A lot of people are comparing her to Little Miss Forge from. Monster Hunter, I want to say it's Monster Hunter 4, or 4 Ultimate, if I remember correctly. I haven't played them in such a long time. And uh, I can see the resemblance, kinda, but also not really. The, the graphics were way different back then. I would need, like, a full-on confirmation for it. I'm honestly surprised they didn't say, oh yeah, let's add a Darren Moran or a Jen Moran for the trailer, though. Um... right obviously this is story related this kid but i'm noticing at least for now i haven't seen a single wyvarian which is interesting you bet. i hope we find them soon i have very little opinions about this except for that it makes me think of resident evil 4 uh well, I don't even remember the bad guy's name. Uh, I'll I'll put him on screen uh, when I edit. Um, <laughs> and that guy reminds me of a couple of different characters that I already have pre-pulled up for this discussion. Um, we see it's we see it's dragging stuff. We got this guy here, which let's rewind a tiny bit. I don't remember what these are called. I have it pulled up for later. We're also going to view the official, uh, the official, uh, channel, or channel, um, webpage or whatever. This dude is interesting. Um, I want to say it's, I don't want to mess up the name, so it's fine. We'll just keep going. All right? Karaknoth. Right. This is interesting. There's a wasp. Uh, a wasp. There's a bug nest there. The Karaknoth herd, and you can see that when time changes, different species are coming out. Or maybe it's just during the sandstorm, other monsters are more active, or whatever. Uh. I'm really curious as to how, uh, because obviously these are kind of like Joggy or Jagia, I'm guessing, or Velocidrome or whatever. That That's that's my guess. These little guys are what I'm interested in. Are they small of these guys or are they completely different? They look like they're a completely different species, but I'm curious as if it's endemic life or if it's uh, a monster you can interact with. We got a. I can only assume they don't have any eyes. I have no idea what's going on with these guys. All right, so we notice. 
At first, I thought they were setting a trap. No, you can now grab slinger ammo with your uh, claw shot, whatever it is. I don't, I don't remember. And then shoot it, right? And it gets them separated, whatever, blah, blah, blah. Um, a sandstorm. This is something that I noticed. You see they're getting sucked in, but this doesn't look like it's one of them. This thing right here makes me think it's, uh... I want to say they're called Cephadromes. Yeah, that's not one of them. It could be a Karaknoth that we know the name of, but, like, it... It's moving around a little different for that, right? Almost like it's a Piscine or Piscine. I'm not sure how to say it. Pis something, something Wyvern. Um, and these weird guys, I don't remember their names. Uh, we'll, we're going to look at the channel here in a second. Um, he dives out the way, commencing the hunt guild or whatever. Back blown out. <laughs> yeah. All right. I I have opinions about this guy. It's kind of like if they fused Donkey Kong and King K. Rule together. Is how I see it. You know. Yeah. That that holds much too small for for a for a Damaran. Yeah. Or da Damaran. Whatever it is. Dan. You hear the whistle if you're listening carefully over the music. And we know what those are called now, too. I have a lot of information to go over. Um, but you see... Look, this dude's getting straight up attacked, right? But, like, they're almost pinning it down? It, and then a third one joins in. I don't know if they've expressed what these are called yet. Um, look... And then, uh, the Bulldogs? I, I don't know. That's something that's interesting. Dude Man has the, the Greatsword. And then switches to Heavy Bow Gun. Or, actually, that might even be... Because it looks like it might have been a Rapid Fire, that might be a Light Bow Gun. So my question is, can you bring more than one weapon at a time on a hunt now? And if so, how do you switch between them? Um, so that's super interesting. We see the Great Sword now has a uh, a multi hit. He does this thing, all fancy and whatnot. That's that's pretty standard uh, Monster Hunter fare. This, all of those were 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 multiple hits, and you know that because it goes with it. Um, I don't know how much damage it's gonna do. They didn't show us, which is perfectly fine. Um, this guy. Um, very interesting. Uh, I have some opinions. <laughs> we'll get to it at the end here. Thank you, sir. First off, Karaknoff getting struck by, li by lightning, right? And it's like a one-frame, two-frame thing. I've gotten really good at pausing it. No, it's not Millennial Abe Lincoln, but that's really funny. Um, you see there's some glow out there, there's some glow out there. Honestly, so lightning strikes in Monster Hunter make me think of... Alatrion, but... We already had a Latrion in World, so unless a Latrion rotated, whatever, we don't know. Uh, I have other opinions about this as well, but that that's a that's a speculation that I I'm not even prepared to discuss. Uh, not without like other people that are also super into this. Um, the SOS gets fired, and then you see a hammer. I want to say it's a bow gun, and I want to say the third is a long sword. Oh no! Okay, so that might be the bow gun. This is a hammer. I think that's a long sword, right? And you see, he blocks it. The hammer guy goes in for the standard uh, side to then downward swing. The 
bow gun does nothing, and the long sword is on the right here, and they just kind of swing at it, but you don't really see anything. Look. Did you even see the long sword? Maybe I'm just crazy. No, yeah, you see them for a second. Right? No, the the Karaknoth are 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 gonna be just a uh uh like cannon fodder essentially. Or they're just fodder monsters. Um going by the standard monster hunter fair or fair uh information, right? Then we get some bonus uh items for if you have Monster Hunter World uh content already downloaded, right? Blah, blah, blah. Okay. The armor set for the feline leather, blah, blah, blah. But it, this just looks like the Horfrost Reach, right? That's my that's my thing. And that's clearly a Kuliaku. I'm hoping Kuliaku is not in this game. Uh, I really hope Kuliaku is not in this game, because that would be three games in a row that it's in. And if it's not Rathalos, why? Um... And honestly, same with Toby Kadachi. I'd hope Toby is not in this game either, right? So that's this. Uh, we're now on the on the website, right? The trailer we just watched, The Living World. Uh, it says, A world with an ever-changing climate. Life here has learned to adapt to a harsh environment, the wildlife developing its own ecosystem, and the humans developing their own culture within it. Sounds about accurate, right? changing environment each hunting locale features an environment with two dynamically changing identities one in which the region is harsh and unforgiving where ravenous monsters fight for limited resources and another in which the region is vibrant and brimming with life changing the environment also means changing also means changes for the monsters and wildlife that live there so you'll be running into new surprises around every corner Okay. So there's the sandstorm, there's the lightning strike, which it's striking back there is kind of weird. And by kind of weird, I mean obviously important, I'm hoping. Um, so yeah. Sandstorm. Uh, lightning. What looks like it could be paradise. Right? What else? In the Forbidden Lands, you'll encounter not only herds of small monsters, some of the large monsters of the region may also form packs. Each group has its own place in the ecosystem with its own unique movement and behaviors. Okay. Uh, new mount. Oh, look! An essential companion for traversing the vast wilds. In the last game, it was dogs. and this one, I'm... Sure, I'm going to pronounce it incorrectly. The Secret? The Sacred? The Sacred is an animal mount whose exceptional agility will provide hunters with crucial support out on hunts. Its well-developed sense of smell allows it to guide you automatically to your current objective or any location you select on the map. That's cool. That means there's significantly less thinking when it comes to running towards said monster. I'm hoping. <sighs> Sorry. You can also use your slinger and certain kinds of items while mounted, allowing you to comfortably restore your health, sharpen your weapon, or even gather materials while on the move. That's pretty standard uh, fare from the dogs. Ooh. Oh, okay. It just zooms it in. Why would you do it at the leg? Also, goddamn, look at that calf. Anyway. Your secret? Your secret? I really don't know what to call it. Your secret isn't, uh... Isn't just for traveling. Though, you can also stash an extra weapon in its weapon sling, allowing you to switch between two weapons of choice while out on hunts. That is nuts. That is nuts. That is nuts. That is nuts. You have no idea how nuts that is for a Monster Hunter player to read that. That's wild. Okay. 
Anyway, uh, what's next? Ecosystem. Windward Plains. As a member of the research commission charged with investigating the Forbidden Lands in the Windward Plains... It... In? What? No. I'm just making that up. The Windward Plains is the first new hunting locale you'll visit. The plains are a diverse region filled with sandy deserts, swaying grasslands, twisting rock formations, and other natural wonders. Okay. And this just siphons off between them? Okay. That's kind of creepy, the way they did that. The, the It looks gorgeous. Maybe that's not as important. Maybe that's just part of the background, or maybe that's just where the rock things are. I'm assuming these maps are going to be significantly bigger. Monsters of the Windward Plains. This is all we got so far. Doshaguma, rugged territorial fanged beast that exhibits an aggressive disposition and inhabits a large range. Sometimes observed, or uh, sometimes observed. Oh yeah. Okay. I just can't read. Sometimes of blah 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 blah. blah. Sometimes observed in large packs. Main habitat, when we're playing. I don't know why reading's so hard for me. The Chatacabra, a large species species is, is, of amphibians that use the adhesive quality of their saliva to affix stone to their forelimbs in order to power up their attacks. So obviously, it's similar to a Tetsukabra in face, Kind of. It does not have tusks. It does have a tongue. The tongue is very similar to the Puke Puke. Ultimate hunting action. The 14 iconic weapon types from Monster Hunter from the Monster Hunter series will each make their return. New action features and new moves for each weapon type will help you make the most of out of any situation. Alright. Focus mode. Focus mode allows you to aim your attacks and guard abilities. You can also use focus mode to pinpoint monster weaknesses, which can be targeted with special new attacks that will deal big damage by making it easier to space yourself and aim your attacks during hunts. Focus mode will make it even easier for players of all stripes to get in on the... Oh, okay. And so they're saying if you're not a veteran, it'll still be easy. It'll be easier for you to get that big damage. The Slinger returns as an indispensable tool. Or blah blah blah. Hook Slinger. Hook Slinger is the newest evolution of the Slinger, allowing you to gather all types of materials from a distance. It can be used while mounted on a sacred. Uh, yeah. Okay. Cool. Cool. Look at this. I didn't even have to go that far. The Hunter, the protagonist of the characters you play. Ooh, I like the way the the girl looks. It honestly, she looks kind of cooler. I also don't like that he's, like, holding his bill. Anyway. Um, our story takes place in the Forbidden Lands, an unexplored region where the guild has sent the hunter and their allies to investigate. Get a glimpse of some of the characters that you'll meet as you step into this mysterious new land. Alright, the hunter. Palago. I'm not going over the Palago. But, look at that cute little guy. Look at that cute little guy. I love it so much already. Um... Alma, the hunter's handler, um, one who manages monster hunt requests, permissions, and quests, blah, blah, why did I read that so weird? She'll accompany you out on quests and provide valuable support and knowledge. So she is the new handler. Okay, Gemma, a smithy with the research commission, she'll take care of all of your weapons and armor crafting needs, okay? Nata, a mysterious young boy that accompanies you on your journey. I thought this was a girl. I'm not gonna lie. Or someone... It doesn't matter. I thought it was a girl. But that's cool. Look, they got a little they got a little necklace. That might be important later. We could look at, like, everything about these characters if we wanted. People are comparing... I'm just gonna close that one out. Gemma... To... Load? Why does it load so slow? People are comparing Gemma here to Little Miss Forge. Um, let's look at some of the resemblance. She has a... Oh! Would there be a Kutku in the game? That would be cool. 
I kind of see it, but I kind of don't. Obviously, as you can see, the graphics were very different back then. Like, they... This is a whole nother model. This is a... Someone that they... Like, th this is a human that they, like, kind of, like, altered in real life, but with 3D modeling or whatever. Like, this is Little Miss Forge, right? I can kind of see it. She has a blue headband. She has a blue hair tie. Uh... The outfit itself is also a little similar. I don't... I, I'm not 100% buying it. This was just pulled up by accident, but... This is what we want to talk about. Julius. Right? This handsome devil right here. We can't really zoom in more than this. Right? Makes me think of that old man in the in the trailer. This guy. Makes me think of Julius. You see how it's kind of similar, right? But it also makes me think of the Ace Lancer. They are both similar enough, right? That it could be either one of them. And them being ace hunters means that other than the character that you play as, obviously they're some of the best of the best. But yeah, I'm not sure if it's Julius here or if it's Ace or Ace Lancer. Um Hmm. Well, you know what? Hold on. Age 24. It's gotta be this guy. Age 40, Ace Lancer, right? Because this dude is older. It's probably Ace Lancer here. Which is interesting. Because he's not the leader of the group. But, that doesn't matter. Anyway. So I've just, I've been thinking about this a lot. Um, I know a lot of people are also, I'm hoping we get to see Nadia. She's a, a gun, a, a, I want to say it's a heavy bow gun user. But, uh, yeah. Hmm. That has to be, that has to be the Ace Lancer, right? Yeah, that is, that's so wild. That's wild. That's wild. Anyway. So, yeah, I want to say we'll get to see Nadia at some point, even if it's like DLC or whatever, she comes to visit something something maybe we'll get to see julius um i don't expect him to be wearing that armor but if he is i'm excited to see him in high quality because i always thought he was uh super cool looking anyway that's it um if you enjoyed any of this feel free to join the discord uh follow the channel all that stuff i'm going to be posting it in the description down below and uh yeah that's about it. Bye.